Welcome to the mat, welcome to your practice. I'm Ali Van Fossen, and I'm here to guide you through this winter solstice restorative practice. Let's first talk about what winter time represents. It aligns with the new moon, with menstruation within a woman's cycle, and with the fourth stage of life, or what's known as the crone archetype. If we look outside of ourselves, winter time is characterized by darkness. There's a decrease in daytime light. And so this outward experience is mirroring and inviting us to honor the darkness that lives within us. We can do this, we can honor this experience that's happening outside of us and within nature by embracing the healing power of the pause. I like to call this the process of the pause. By accepting rest, relaxation, and nourishment. We can do this by prioritizing quiet time and quieter practices, especially on our mats. And through this process, we reveal these deeper layers of intuition, knowingness, and instinct. And these deeper layers then help us become a conduit for new ideas and innovation to spring forth. And they help us set really meaningful and powerful intentions that then guide our future actions, especially as we reemerge into springtime after planting those seeds or intentions. Now they are ready to be watered and nourished, right? So this is this time of drawing inward and really listening to our wisdom and intuition by slowing down and favoring those quiet practices and that time with yourself. Now, I know it's super tempting to skip this process. I do it quite often myself, but there's so much gold that we can source from this experience of mirroring what's happening outside in nature and bringing it inward to support us. So um, our goal on the mat is to prioritize rest, to move slowly, to draw inward, to enliven our sense of intuition and knowingness and wisdom so we can get really comfortable with this next season and set those intentions that will guide our actions. For this practice, I really need you to have a bolster or two pillows stacked atop one another. You could even use two blankets rolled up to create a really thick blanket. And then any other props you have nearby, have them at your disposal so that you can feel as supported as possible. And we're gonna start in an upright seated posture. I'm in hero's pose with a block underneath me. You can be in Sukhasana easy pose. If you need to pause me to find your props, all good. But then meet me back here in an upright seated posture. Send your roots down. Get comfortable with whatever position you've chosen. Hmm. We'll be traveling through the chakra system with each of our postures today, working to nourish and really energize and resource the energetic body, the pranamaya kosha. Good, feeling settled. Let's close off the right nostril with our thumb and we'll breathe exclusively through the left nostril here. Exhale completely to begin out of both nostrils. Close right nostril off. Inhale through left. Exhale through left. Inhale left. Exhaling left. Continue like this. Enlivening the feminine, the yin energy, the Ida Nadi that's on the left side of the body using the breath to awaken, to strengthen, 
and to care for this element of our being. Wintertime is characterized by a yin feminine energy. This is why we're practicing Chandra Bhadana right now, enlivening, caring for this left side of the body. Another minute, you're doing great. Stay focused on inhaling and exhaling through the left nostril, caring for this hemisphere of the body that aligns with our feminine yin and yin energy. Opening ourselves to receptivity, stillness, relaxation, rest, nourishment that mothering quality. Last three breaths. Release the right hand. Thank yourself for showing up. Give yourself permission to quiet down here, to embrace the healing power of the pause. And gradually meet me in a forward fold. If you have both blocks, You can set them on the tallest setting, bend the knees generously, and see if you can bring the forearms to rest on the blocks here. I'll be here for a few minutes. Let everything drape. Skull heavy. Jaw softening, neck lengthening, whole spine extending, space being made between each vertebra. Back of the pelvis, Stretching, backs of the legs, opening, 
feet firmly planted, supporting you. Check in with your head, make sure it's dangling. Last 30 seconds or so. Last breath. Beautiful. Making your way to a seated forward fold. Paschimottanasana. A few options here. You can place a block underneath each knee, like so. And then allow yourself to fold. If you have a blanket, you can place that atop of you, fold. And if you have a bolster, you can also remove the blocks and place the bolster atop the legs here. Many options, tune into what feels right, especially if you have all of the props available. And settling in for a few minutes together here. Focusing first on the root chakra, grounding the body. Cultivating a sense of security and stability as we enter into this practice, which you can really, which you can really use as a ceremony or a ritual. Accepting that this is a powerful time to pause, to process, to draw inward towards our essence so we can emerge again, so we can emerge feeling refreshed. Last breath. And lift the gaze. Come upright, moving into fan pose, progressing to the sacral chakra, also known as Upavista Konasana. a straddle-like position with the legs out wide to the degree that's comfortable for you. If you don't have a bolster or any props, you'll fold forward to a place of comfort and ease. If you have props, this is a great time to build up your tower. I'm sitting on the edge of a blanket. And then finding what works for you here. Folding forward, again, we're here for a few minutes together.
an affirmation we can work with to honor this seasonal transition and time of winter is rest recharges me. Rest recharges me on all levels of my being. Rest recharges me. And take a final breath. Hmm. Coming up right. Hmm. Moving into a supported twist. If you have, if you don't have any props, you'll lie down on your back and take a supine twist over to one side. If you have a bolster, you'll place it along the mat like this. If you also have a block, place a block underneath it to prop it up like so. And if you have a blanket too, you can place it at the very top for some added neck support. Bring the right hip to connect with the edge of the bolster here. Moving up into the navel center now, the Manipura Chakra. Begin to twist towards your bolster. Legs are staggered. And then simply lay down on your prop. If you'd like added sensation, you can bring the left ear down, but the right ear is just as delicious. So softening down here. Hmm. Imagining in this twist that you're twisting towards this season and what it represents. And you'll find small ways to make this commitment to embrace the healing power of the pause, to prioritize quiet time to receive nourishment. And this may happen on or off your mat. How can you care for yourself this season? How can you retreat inward so that you may reveal those deeper layers of wisdom and intuition that will help you set new intentions for the next year and the next season.
Last breath. Make your way to an upright seated posture and simply switch sides. If you're laying down, you'll switch to the opposite side with the knees for a supine twist. You'll bring your left hip now to the edge of the bolster if you're working with the props. Make any adjustments so that you are incredibly comfortable, incredibly nourished, incredibly supported here. Again, if you bring the opposite ear down, more sensation. Left ear down though is a great option. Awareness at the navel center. Beginning to brainstorm how we can embrace this season and what it stands for. Knowing yourself and knowing your life what would be most beneficial for you? What would be both practical and spiritual? A few ideas are more restorative classes like these practicing yoga before bed, whether that's gentle asana or pranayama, committing to a meditation practice since it's very quieting and stilling. It could mean going for walks outdoors without stimulus so you can really connect inward. Soaking in the tub, the added elements of candles or soft music, mantra music. Could mean reading. There's a large menu. No need to be overwhelmed. I easily get to that point trying to zoom out and think about what's reasonable and beneficial for you as well as inspiring and exciting right last breath make your way upright Coming into a supported back bend. So if you don't have any props, you'll come into Sphinx pose. My bolster is very large, so I won't be using it, but you can bring it horizontally across the mat and then drape yourself over top of it and have the arms and goal posts above the bolster for a really great heart and throat opening. You can also do restorative fish pose with two blocks. I am going to use my blanket like a bolster and roll it up since my bolster is very tall. Again, restore to fish with two blocks. You can do what I'm doing here with a blanket rolled up or a bolster that's not as high arms in goal posts overhead. You can be in Sphinx pose if you don't have any props. And settle in. Moving to the Anahata and Vishuddha chakras now.
in this position where the chest is open, seeing this as an invitation again to welcome the seasonal energetics that we've been speaking about. Welcome quieter practices, inward experiences. With the intent being to slow down enough that our wisdom and intuition can surface and guide us as we set intentions for the next year and our next season. Last breath here. Coming to a prone position. If you're in Sphinx pose, you'll simply lower, stack the hands and rest your forehead on those stacked hands. If you are in a position with a prop, you'll roll over and use your blanket or your bolster and put that underneath the pelvis, underneath the pelvis. And then you'll stack the hands and rest the forehead atop the hands. If you've got a shorter bolster, you can use the bolster. A blanket works great too. And settle in. We're moving to the Ajna Chakra, the space between the brows now. Last breath. All of us slipping onto our back for waterfall pose. You can do this with a bolster, a blanket, or a block propped under you right at the sacrum. You can do this with no props, extend the legs upwards. Keep a soft bend in the knees, reach the feet skyward, 
palms out by your sides. Coming to the Sahasrara crown chakra now. Resourcing and replenishing our entire energetic system. The energetic system is incredibly important in shaping our mental emotional landscape as well as how we feel physically. So this is a beautiful practice to replenish and resource your whole system. And it's especially helpful during the season of winter or if you're on your period or if there's a new moon phase happening Last breath. <sighs> Bringing the legs down, settling into Shavasana. I recommend sliding your props down underneath your knees. Make it simple. If you have an eye pillow or something to place across your eyes, now is a great time to do that. Scanning the body, releasing any last bits of tension from the crown of the head, the hairline, forehead, eyes retreating back, cheekbones, whole mouth softening, jaw relaxing. Gently swallow, relax the throat. Shoulder joints, elbow joints, wrist joints. Feeling a sense of warmth. Thumbs, index fingers, middle fingers, ring fingers, little fingers. Feeling a sense of warmth and presence. Core of the chest, softening. Navel center, letting go. Space between the two hip points, releasing, opening. both hip points, knee joints, ankle joints, heels, supported, grounded. Big toes, second toes, third toes, fourth toes, pinky toes, relax. Whole self-supported, 
whole self embracing the season of winter. Whole self embracing the power of the pause. Whole self receiving rest. Begin to deepen your breath, feel the rise and fall of the navel center. The abs and the flows, the cycles and the seasons and the rhythms that we move through as human beings, mirroring what's happening outside of us and within us. Introduce small movements, fingertips and toes ankles and wrists. Extend the arms overhead as you reach long. And bend the knees, come to fetal pose. Drawing inward, just like mother nature does, it pulls inward towards her essence. As she bears her branches and loses foliage so she too can be resourced and reemerge once again coming upright we'll close with om bring the hands into prayer borders of the thumb connect with the sternum inhale together to prepare Oh. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 May we all experience peace in this next season of living and thank you so much for these teachings. Gradually open your eyes, lift your gaze. <sighs> I have one challenge for each of us as we step off the mat, and that is to choose how we will prioritize rest, relaxation, and drawing inward during this next season. What are the practices that can support you? And please don't overwhelm yourself. I know I do that quite often because there's so many things that I'm interested in and that I want to do. Choose a few things that you think are manageable and incredibly beneficial based on whatever you're currently navigating. And if working with the seasons and working with the moon phases is something that interests you, this is what we do inside the Body, Mind, Soul Studio regularly at our virtual retreats and with our course material. If you're keen on learning what the Body, Mind, Soul Studio is and how we practice holistically, you can sign up for my Curious to Confident Yoga, stu yoga Student Training. It's a three-part training that takes you through the koshas and the chakras and teaches you how to really build a holistic toolkit that'll help you grow both 
both on and off the mat and make that shift from practicing watered down, mainstream, mass marketed yoga that so many of us are introduced to and how so many of us begin our journeys. Make the shift from practicing like that to being a holistic, lifelong yoga student. That link to the training is in the description below. If you're looking for more winter solstice practices, you can check out this one here and I'll meet you back on the mat to keep practicing yoga holistically together.